Hey there guys, so another unboxing video for you. This one's Reflections 50 Heavy Metal Years in Music or 50 Heavy Metal Years of Music, which is um Judas Priest, which has just not long been released. I know you can get this on vinyl. I know you can get the box set, which um I've seen with umpteen vinyl in it and you can get like how many CDs and it's actually um loads of stuff, which is like um, I think it's loads of the uh, best of with loads of live stuff, so you get umpteen concerts. But it's over nearly 200 quid or something like that, which I thought was a bit pricey. And ouch, I do want it, so I'm gonna have to save up and um, you know, maybe cut back on a bit of my um pre orders or do a little bit more hours at work just so I can afford it. And this is just basically a taster of that box set, which is um. 16 songs 15 song 16 yeah some of the live are unreleased from various places and then it just has a best of which is like um six of um i just stuff off their albums various albums and they're not their biggest hits like say british um say breaking the law painkiller or you know you've got another thing coming or anything like that and can't wait to get into this and actually give this a little, I want to see what the unreleased sound like because it's these songs are from the various concerts on that box set so I want to see if they sound any good to see if it's actually worth buying that box set so it's a good taste I know you can get it on vinyl it's nearly 30 quid which I thought no because that vinyl box set is like nearly 200 and I think it's nearly 200 150 200 and it's got a hell of a lot of live vinyl in there so I thought may as well just get this check it out and if I like it I will get that box set so there's our artwork typical judas priest artwork absolutely love the logo there's a the back with the track listing sorry about the poor lighting right um let me show you the disc 50 heavy metal years of music there you go then the inlay well let me get the book out at the moment ready the inlay just blank actually thought there may have been the priest logo or something and i'll show the book this oh that's going to be an interesting read and there's the logo in the name then we have i thought it was live shots from their earlier tours which is pretty badass and rob alford with hair i've actually seen photos of him when he had long hair down to his um past his shoulders long blonde hair and he looks completely different to what he is but I'm not saying he don't look good because he does but you know <clears throat> this is more their stage passes and stuff like that which that is awesome i actually live in um a place called wellington in shropshire <clears throat> and as I've I've been told quite a few times down just down there, which is five minutes walk. It's a train station at the back of the train station. There's a venue, and supposedly that venue was the venue where Judas Priest played their very first gig, the very first one, one under the name Judas Priest, which is Wellington Shropshire, which is just down there, which I thought was absolutely awesome. So that's a nice bit of um interesting information for you lot some more live um stuff i'm not sure if judas priest have actually released a live gig from the painkiller tour i'm not sure so hopefully they've released something the pain painkiller tour if not they should release something because that album's absolutely incredible incredible my favorite judas priest album more pictures and i'm guessing that's the credits etc and the back is the logo which as I've said to people, that would make an awesome tattoo. I bet how many people have got that of a um, tattoo. So, yeah, I will put a link in the description for this band. Everybody, any metal fan absolutely knows who Judas Priest are. Because they're legends. They're effectively the godfathers of heavy metal. I know Judas um, Black Sabbath started and influenced the sound and stuff. But Black Sabbath are not heavy metal. They're a hard slash heavy blues rock band with, um, you know, influences from various genres. So these are the godfathers of heavy metal and their album British Steel to me is probably the very first heavy metal album ever. So 
I will put a link in the description just for anybody who doesn't know much about this band and say piques are interest the artwork or anything like that but anybody who hasn't listened to them and they like metal you must get on these absolutely legends I've seen them at Bloodstock um not last two times at Bloodstock the last two Bloodstocks it was absolutely incredible the last one there was a giant bull on stage and how many people was asking how come they've got a giant bull on stage and I said that's an odd to the bull ring in Birmingham because Jews just priests are from is it about from, from Warsaw which is just on the outskirts of Birmingham so you know Brummie or Midlander which is absolutely fantastic and I was born in Birmingham birthplace of um heavy metal birthplace of Black Sabbath um Judas Priest Napalm Death and various other bands so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video remember to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell got a load of unboxing videos to come and I've just done quite a few and I've got a few more so they're all, all going to be done by the end of the evening and I will get them all posted up over the coming week or so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll see you in the next unboxing video so take care and stay safe.